so today I will show you how to download your coordinates data from your data station DTM152 and the same procedure with any, yeah, any of the DTM brands ok so first thing is I have my cable I have my cable and then my data station here so see the cable this is some USB this is a USB and then here is the other one that goes into the total station it has pins inside and it's like a spring like a spring so what I'll do first is my total station I'll look for the, the port here as you can see here I'll just open it I'll open it once I open it then like this now when you do like this you don't force it in just put it on it like this then just turn it until it keys until it goes in by itself you see it has gone in by itself then i'll just push it inside and then it keys very easy no struggle you put it on the, on the surface you don't push it inside at first you put it on the surface you turn it until it enters inside by itself once it enters then you push it inside it's a spring you just lock the spring will just lock it so now I'll connect my USB to my laptop. Okay, now then I put on my, my total station. Okay, so my total station is on now and I've also connected to the, to the laptop. Okay, so for me to be able to download my data from the total station, I need to know what COM port it is, it is using on the, on the computer. So to do that, I will come to Device manager here on my system. Device manager. And I'll go under ports. If you see under ports, I have ports. Ports come port 2, 13, and 14. So for me to know which one it is using, I can remove my USB. It will refresh. You see, 2 is no longer showing. That means it is using COM port 2. So I'll plug it back. Plug it back. I plug it back so that my comport is showing now. This is comport two, as you can see. It's comport two. Now, for example, so so this is comport two. My total station is using. Now, since I know the port it is using, I will now go and launch the com e software which it uses, which we will use to, to download. Okay, so. Coordinate form NEZ, you can choose either NEZ or ENZ, whichever one. You click OK. Now, first thing is I come to connect, I will do settings to set the correct port. You can see it's on COM port 1, it's on COM 1. I need to change it to COM 2. Hmm? So now, but you can see here also that the max, the highest number of COM is 9. 9. But if you, on my device manager, I have some that are 13 and 14. So if you plug, when you plug it in and you see that your, the, it is coming out as COM port 15, for example, or 13 or 14, and you check here, there's no option for, for the, the highest is COM 9. What you can do, you come back to your device manager and right click and go to properties. Then you go to port settings. Then you go to advanced. Then you can change it here. You can see my com is too. You can come and change it here to use the port that any port from any com port from com one to com nine. So once you have done that, you just click OK, and then you'll be able to use uh, the the com port of your disk of your choice. Since this one only has from one to nine, so my our com port is two. I will also click initial here, and I'll click OK. Once I've done that. I'm ready to so once I've set that one I will now come and say I will now come and coordinate receive I want to receive I want to download so but before I do that I'll come to my total session I come to my total session I'll go to menu I come to memory manage I'll come down I press F4 to come down I'll come to communication I want to communicate with the laptop 
press F2 to communicate. Send data. I want to send data to it. I press F1 to send. I press F1 to send. Okay, so since I want to send coordinate data now, once I get here, I want to send coordinate data. So I, I click on F1. So I, I now need to look for which which file, which job. I now click list. So my data, my job is on test. If it was not on test, I'll click list again. Maybe it's on another file. Whatever my file name is. My file name is test. So since I'm here now, once I get here, I will stop. Then I'll now come back to my to my software and say receive. Coordinate receive. I'll come here and say coordinate receive because I want to receive the data on my on my laptop on my total session. I want to receive it on my on my computer. So I click receive. So now it will say waiting, waiting. Once it's waiting, then I'll now come and press enter on the laptop. I'll press enter on the laptop. I'll press enter on the on the total session so that it can send. So now see sending. It's now sending all the data. So it has sent all the data to my to my laptop. So once that is done, I click OK. Then I'll save file. Save as so I've created a folder, DTM download. I just so if you want to save it as .dat, but I want to save mine as .csv. If you want to save it as a text as a text file, as a .dat file, whichever one you want, me I want to save as .csv. So I call it for test. That's the name of my project, test. And I just click save. So once I'm done, I will close this one, and then I can go to my to my documents and find my .csv file there my CSV test file that I just downloaded, I can open it and these are my coordinates here. So that's how to download from your DTM total session to your laptop. Thank you.